Have you ever wondered what games you should keep or you should lose? Find out here at Purdue. Griffin Inn is a solo-only card game. I think there's 18 cards in here, and you'll be manipulating the cards in such a way to hopefully that you can win the game. A lot of crazy characters are going to show up into your inn, and they're all going to have, they're going to set the bar and drink, they're going to want to take a nap at the inn, and they're going to be doing weird things as they're there, and you have to appease everyone who is there and make sure certain people aren't by certain people, they will trigger, and what consequences you have for having cards a different way. The game is actually pretty fun. I actually enjoy the game quite a bit. It, it's fun to try to play that puzzle of, okay, what came up? What can I put there? What exactly is that going to trigger? Can I deal with the fact that this guy is going to leave and that gets me towards my eight, etc.? So it's a neat little puzzle that you're playing out. Now, there's a lot of reading and there's a lot of like, okay, I got to go through each of the cards and trigger them again. Go through here. Okay, that triggered that. Now I'm going to trigger everything again. There's a lot of that. I don't mind that when I'm playing a solo game because downtime is the game, I think. You know, downtime is okay when you're by yourself because you're trying to figure out this puzzle and a lot of the game's going to happen in your mind more than on the table. You know, it's that dice rolling. It's all about where do I want to put this guy and how is this going to trigger something that's going on? So you have to go through those cards each time and, and kind of hit that every single time. And that's going to turn off for some people. For me, I didn't mind it. I actually enjoy it. This is something I can put a ball game on in the background. I pull my game on the table, you know, kind of play through it. I can watch some action. Uh, you know, like a baseball game when there's action on there, and then maybe when there's a pitching change, and I play around with it a little bit. Works very well for me. It's something like uh, when the kids are going to bed, I just want to play a quick game. This fits it. The, the artwork is great. The components are good. It's very portable. There's a couple little expansions to add little tweaks to it and more cards. I've had a lot of fun with this. The price is good. There's no reason why you shouldn't tra uh, track this one down. Ugly Griffin Inn has been a lot of fun for me. Glee Griffin Inn by Scott Alms. You can see it's a little book that you kind of open up like this. This will be the rules, which we'll take a look at in a few minutes. Then you're going to have this like case out here where the cards will kind of fit in. This is really neat because this can fit right in your back pocket or something if you're going to go to your friend's house. You're going to get 18 cards, each with a different power, icons down here, and artwork. You can see I really like the artwork in here. I really dig this. It's kind of cute and goofy looking, and I don't know. It just brings charm to me. I like it quite a bit. You can see the words on it are fairly easy to understand. I didn't really have a lot of problems with these. I, the font may be a tad small, but I'm getting older, too, and I didn't really have any problems with it because you're playing it solo anyway, so they're right in front of you. They feel great. They have this like uh, fi fl film on them. I like it quite a bit. They shuffle really well and look great. Great job. Here's a rule book. You're going to get a little book that will kind of fold out like this. Over here, you're going to have a picture of the components, setup, the end phase, and bar phase that you're going through. Then on the back, really, this is kind of how you win the game. And then any card specific notes that you have here. Very easy. I mean, this might take you five minutes, ten minutes to read through, depending on how quick of a reader you are. Very easy to understand. The game is very easy to play. You're going to shuffle up your card deck, and you're going to put four cards out into what's called the bar. And I'm going to put these out down here so you can easily see them. Then on your turn, you're going to choose one of these and put it up in your end. And we'll just start here. And then you kind of read it. If there are four more beer in the end, there is not. There's only one beer on this icon, so you don't do that. And then you refill the bar up to four. That's all you do. Then you go through and you see if there's any of these icons that are more than three that trigger on this guy. There's no icon up here, so nothing is going to trigger. The next turn would begin. Let's say I want to put this one up here. It, it would go on top. The drunken dwarf would fall down. And it says, if there is noise directly above or below this, uh, it would trigger. There's no noise here. You go through here and see, see it has the ear here. Does it trigger anything here? There's only one ear. There's not three or more, so it's not going to trigger. Then you ref refill the bar. That's going to happen. And what's going to happen with these cards, if you see... If there's beer directly above or below this, then leave. She silently judges every other patron on her way out. So you'll be discarding cards from the end. If you ever get eight cards in a discard, you lose the game. If you ever able to go through the entire deck of cards and you have not discarded eight or more cards, then you will win. So this row of end cards will keep increasing as more and more people come out into the bar. So you have to decide... What icons you want to get out of the bar, what powers you're wanting to send over air, how that's going to dictate all of this, and they keep going up on top. That's how you play the game. It's very easy to play. You're going to put a card on the end. You're going to come through here. You're going to trigger it from the top down. 
Then you're gonna look at the matching icons and see if they have any of these. If so, it will trigger the card, and that's it. That's how you play it. Uh, if you discard eight cards, you lose. That's Ugly Griffin N.